Do you want a tea or coffee or anything like that? No, I'm fine, thank you. You good? Yeah, I don't really think that's necessary. <laughs> um, Miles, I'm so confused by everything that's happened now, and, like, why was Maeve just, like, kind of under your control for the whole trip? I... I... Do you think she was under my control? I think you just took her away from the group and the rest of us, and we all had a great time, and then the next morning, she was really upset, and you had just been speaking the whole night, and I... Because she wanted to talk to me. There is a massive part that she does not tell you guys. Like, she will go around and tell you what you want to hear. I know that she said that she would drop James in a second if you wanted to get back together with her. Yeah. I know that. I and know is that, that's is that how a good she... thing? Is that a good thing? She doesn't feel that way anymore, for sure, I know uh, that. That's fine, but is that a good thing? Do you think... Is it a good thing for you, knowing that and hearing that, to then keep letting it happen and keep going over oh, and over I've, the same trust situation? Trust me, I, I'm, I'm not going to let this situation repeat itself ever again. I've... Yeah, but you shouldn't have treated her like that in the first place, because if Treat you really cared... Way? Come on, Miles, there is a girl, your ex-girlfriend, who's yeah. clearly still in love with you. You don't feel the same way. You don't want to be with her. You don't want to commit. I was madly in love with that girl, and I was... You were. I in the was. past. No, no, you no, are no, the no. past, Now I'm Miles. not. Now I'm not. Exactly, but... you've known that. But you're not giving her clear-cut, concise, I don't want to commit, I don't want to be with you. That's all you need to say. What? It's a five-minute well, conversation. Well, I've done it. You we... took the entire night to just screw with her I head and say all of this stuff. Screw with her head. She's, she screws in my head all the time, Rosie. You but don't know that. you're not interested that. anymore, so you just have to leave her alone. Now and I'm the not. the other thing, Miles, I really wanted to come here about, Liv told me that you, the next morning, said, oh, yeah, well, actually, part of the reason I have done all of this is just to get back at James and to screw with James. Did I have a bit of pleasure knowing that this would piss off James? Yeah. But you're Why hurting Maeve in the process. Do you not care about her enough or respect I, her even I've, enough just to not let that happen? I've cared for that girl so many times. And so many times she's put me in the doghouse, so many times she's fucked me over. And and I don't care what your opinions are and what you think because you don't know the whole story. You really don't. That's fine, and, I'm here to and, tell you to back off and leave her alone, OK? And that's well, it. We said to her, the day I'm over you and the day I'm done is the day I throw away... Um, I've got a Polaroid picture locked up in like this little chest I have at home with her and my cat, and I've got two um, pieces of jewellery that I gave to her for her birthday, um, and it was a promise ring when we were together, and I've kept it these, these couple of years, and I've always had it with me. Every time I go on holiday, it used to be always in my bag, always on me, and I'm ready to throw them away now. I'm just like, I know I'm done, and for me, that is a massive, massive step. I've always told myself, the day I throw these things away, is the day I'm actually over this. I can definitely feel like you've got a different, like the way you're talking about it, there's yeah. definitely, you're done with it. Yeah, I, I'm so happy. Excuse me, can I speak to Miles for a second? Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, Hello, mate. Hi. I spoke to Rosie, said she was at your house earlier. Mm -hmm. And you told her in plain English that you're gonna back off. No, I, I was trying to explain to Rosie that I've already backed off um, and that there was a slight hiccup probably in the Cotswolds. We had a conversation, I had a man to man with you. Man over man. a coffee, man okay, man. over a fucking When did you okay, ever off. respect me? About mate. over so, a coffee, so that, saying that, that look, coffee me and her shit. are more serious. Really? Yeah. All right, I wonder what you've done this from, weekend coming, is pretty coming, shit as well. Come, yeah, but probably what you've done to her is pretty shit. Well, kiss weekend. someone else and then this is our relationship. It's got nothing to do okay. with you, does it? If that's a normal thing to do in a relationship then. I'm no, not. no, because we weren't going out then. Okay. We just started going out, okay. so it's a bit different. Yeah, you can find it funny, but it's quite serious between me and her. Okay, well, I'm happy and for you. Her coming back to me crying about things that you've said. Okay. And her. Who, who wants to hear that? And, and her crying to me, saying that she still loves me and um, she wants me to you, take her back. And you're and telling me that you don't yeah, put anything no. into her head? No, I don't. Miles, take some responsibility. You have got to realise that your girlfriend is not the most innocent girl out there I, either. I bloody and know And I think that. you should know that, and you should realise that, because before going into a serious relationship with that girl, you should probably think, is she in it for real? And is she 100% committed to me? Well, that's what I've got to... Mate, that's the risk, isn't it? Maeve and I are done. Officially over. I'm actually happy for you guys. I have moved on. I think you just need to double check if she definitely has moved on. That's all you've got to do. Well, okay, I know I'm cool with her, so... I'm gonna leave it at that, and I hope you guys sort your relationship out, okay? Have a good one. Ah. Oh. You okay? Yeah. It's good to see you. What? I honestly got nowhere. He was, again, trying to make me think that I shouldn't trust you. Why? One thing he said was that when you're up in the countryside, you told him that you loved him again. No, I, of course, I'm, I have feelings, but yeah. it's just like feelings, it's random feelings. So you're telling me that's just drunk chat at four in the morning in bed I together? I didn't say I love you. Okay, that's what you said. I'm okay. telling you that it's always hard when I'm around Miles. 
uh, because of our past, our history and everything, and it destroyed me. You, I don't think you realise. The about... only way for this and us to move on is cutting him out and not having these drunk conversations and not, not engaging with it. I want, like, an honest answer from you. Sitting on the couch earlier talking to Rosie, no. you, you looked a little bit, like, confused to whether... To be honest, OK, what I really read from you... Listen, what, what I really read from you was... I don't want Miles to be completely done with me. That's what I got from you. Is, is there any truth in that? I think that's my answer, isn't it? I'd just be so happy walking out of here with you if, if you can make me believe that Miles is no more. It's no more. It's no more. I swear. No more, no more calling up like... No, nothing. I swear. I just want us to carry on and quite literally erase him. Mm. Me too. Thanks for coming to see me. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So I, I wanted to kind of see you just... Uh, obviously, like, I saw James yesterday yeah. and, um, you know, it was a bit heated and then, you know, the day before that I saw Rosie. The thing with Rosie, so she told me that. So she told me what happened. So yeah. she came to your place. Yeah. To be honest, I wasn't really happy about that. Okay. I don't think she was really fair, uh, her to come and talk to you, even yeah. if she's a really good friend of mine. I supposed to decide if I want her to talk to you or not. So yeah. to be honest, I wasn't really happy about that. Um, okay. Look, it, it, regardless of that, that, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. I have been holding on to certain things that I feel like that, for me, they're really significant. They were things that we had in a past relationship that. I held on to, and when we broke up, I still had those things with me, and... I just don't understand what you're talking about. OK, so... Uh... I mean, I understand what you're talking <laughs> about, but I just don't... Oh, yeah, look, 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 look. What? Wait. OK, so... I gave you, um, a necklace, and I gave you a promise ring. I've been holding on to these everywhere I go. I've, um... Why are you doing this? Because I want... What? Because Why I wanna, are you doing this, man? Because I need to let you go. You need to stop. I need to let go. I need to let go. I need to let go. You you throw this away right now, right okay. now. I don't okay. know why you're doing this. Okay. You can't just leave me alone. This is what this is me. This is my first birthday gift from you, okay? And this is the promise ring. So you give this to me before my birthday. Again to fuck my head. This is not to fuck your head. This is and not... why, why, why you kept this for so long? Because I, 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 I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave you. That you know this. We've spoke. I've told you this so many times. I kept those two things in my bag constantly, always having it with me, always knowing that maybe one day we'd end up back together, or that I would, I had this hold on you, or I had, I knew that you'd still be around. And I, I just, I, and I know that you are happy and that you are moving on. And yes, I'm happy. So why are so you trying to destroy everything I'm, I'm before my birthday? I'm it's, I'm, I mean, why? How is this me destroying anything? This is me letting go and, and showing you that I'm letting you go.